Hello, my name is Zainan and I've been a part of our football team's journey for the last six months as a content producer and Kickstarter. The football team that I'm talking about is the London Rangers Football Club. In this documentary, we will explore the experiences, the difficulties and the journey of our team in the Middlesex County Football League season 2021-2022 from multiple perspectives. But first and foremost, who are London Rangers Football Club? London Rangers Football Club, originally Ryslip Manor and Tokyo Manor Football Club, are a local team here in Wembley, the home of English football. The name London Rangers started around 2017 when the team became affiliated with Glasgow Rangers Football Club and still remain affiliated to this day. Hello, this is um, Terry Springer, I'm the chairman of London Rangers Football Club. It's previously been known as Rice at the Manor Football Club and as Token to Manor Football Club. And it's been on a journey. Like most um, clubs, we have tremendous great ambitions, but many barriers that we've had to overcome. Um, not least from the beginning, losing our ground up in Ryslip then um, previously then being at Viking Sports at Hanwell and various other ground shares, even going as far as Amersham. And now we're in the Middlesex County Football League and our ambition really is to, to move out of that and get back into the Spartan South Midlands Football League. We think that's a level of football that we'd be quite happy to play at. Um, but we know many, many clubs have that ambition. And it's a case of building the right infrastructure and the right um, people around to do that. And this season has proved very difficult for a lot of clubs as well in terms of COVID, returning from that, um, the disruption from the previous season. But we really believe this year we can kick on, we can do um, finish this year strong and next season really kick on and try and go for promotion. And that's really the ambition in terms of the football inside. We're a community club and uh, having an impact in our community is always our, on our heart, working with young people, working with different members of the community and that always will be at the forefront of everything that we do. And yeah, we're just looking forward to a, a great end of this year and, and they're fantastic as we come out of the craziness of COVID and everything else. We're really looking forward to things coming back to slightly a new norm, but definitely a lot more normality about it. My name is Chris, I'm the Director of Football for London Rangers. Uh, my job title basically means that I sort out the matches, sort out the pitches, sort out the kits, um, talk to the manager, see how things are going. I also talk to the players, see how they're feeling about anything. If they've got any problems, they can come talk to me. So like, I'm kind of involved with the team a lot more than I need to be. Um, how the season's going, or how it started, it was kind of rough. We got a new manager called Daryl. Um, didn't have players registered, didn't have enough players in the squad at the beginning. So he worked his magic, brought in players, I got them registered. Um, but yeah, it was like a rough start because like everyone's new and like players were coming in and leaving, players weren't happy. But that's football for you, like you don't always enjoy it everywhere you play. So we have heard everything that goes on from a week to week basis, the history of the club, and the thoughts of the owner and director regarding the progress of our season. So let's explore and learn what league does London Rangers play for? The Middlesex County Football League is a grassroots football league which London Rangers is a part of. However, there are multiple leagues from Premier Division to Division 1 of multiple regions, 2 and 3 and so forth. London Rangers currently plays in the MCFL Division 1 Northwest Saturday League in which we play matches at Kingsbury and go all around the Middlesex County area to play for other teams which participate in the league. In previous seasons with the name London Rangers, they finished second last in the 2018-2019 season, then finished eighth in the following season and then abruptly ending in ninth the last season due to the pandemic putting a halt and cancelling the season altogether. But now, we shall see how we did throughout the present season. Our season started off with some delays due to each team having to fully register players, which meant we only started our first league match in October. Our first match of the season started against Hilltop Seconds, the reserve team of Hilltop FC, who play in the Combined County Football Division 1. We played away at Gibbons Recreation Ground near Brent Park. Our first game started balanced with a 1-1 score as we kept going despite an impending defeat. Although Georgie, one of our players, managed to score a header, 
but despite that, unfortunately, the full-time score was 7-2, which was foreshadowing how the first half of our season will go. Despite our defeat, we kept training and trying, as our next away match was against Brenton Kenston FC, which played at Norfolk Park. It was another defeat in which our team lost 7-0, but we had some chances, some penalty opportunities, but we accepted our result and kept moving forward. Following the match day 2 defeat in the league, we were going to play against Kodak FC in the Middlesex FA Junior Cup. Kodak FC reside in Harrow Weld, but we play them at home in Kingsbury. Little did we know, they will be one of our top league teams and one of our fiercest opponents throughout the season. We tried our best, but we suffered the heaviest of defeats, 11-0, which was the lowest performance thus far in the season. Despite our cup exit, we focused towards match day 3, of the Saturday League. Our next game gave us more confidence as we went to London Marathon playing fields in Greenford to face AFC Hanwell and Hayes, which we put a big effort but sufficed with a big 3-3 draw. Kunle, one of our key players, scored a double and Georgie scored another goal to secure our first point of the season. November, match day 4 and we played away once more in Norfolk against Illyrian FC, another team in our league. It was another fierce game in which either side could have won but Illyrian prevailed with a 2-1 win, which meant we had 3 defeats and a draw thus far in the season. The week afterwards, our second cup game was against the familiar foe, Kodak FC, but this time at Harrow Weld, and defeats kept on piling up, with this one being a controversial 5-0, and exiting the remaining cup competition, which was the Jim Rogers President's Division 1 Cup. We went back to London Marathon playing fields in Greenford, hoping to secure another point after our previous draw, but we faced Speedy United, another opponent in our league. And we have tried once more to put an effort, but it wasn't enough as the result was a 3-1 loss. However, this was the first game which Zach took charge of the team in absence of our previous manager. Due to some postponements, we had to face Speedy United once more, but at Kingsbury, and the next match was a stormy one as the weather conditions were extreme, with the winds decimating the audio of our video footage, and moreover, it was another defeat in our last game of November. This the season as December arrived with our next game being the third encounter against Kodak at Kingsbury once again. This time we have shown once more a bit of confidence as we pushed and managed to score two goals, but still it was not enough for the 4-2 result in the end, but with an acceptable effort clearly shown compared to our previous results against our top opposition. We were confident to continue to play matches, but some of the league matches were either postponed or affected due to the pandemic and the weather conditions. However, our last game of 2021 was against Harrow Boys, which felt like our first sight of our first victory of the season, with Aaron being the star player. And despite the energetic first start performance against our rivals, the referee decided for health and safety reasons to cancel the game after a half has been played under dangerous pitch conditions. And with that, started a month of delays and postponements as we waited for our next match and kept on training. Throughout January, our team came back to train on a weekly basis, but our home pitch continued to be unavailable throughout the month. And the league giving a win to Sporting Duet Academy due to the problem of unavailability, which continued to trouble us throughout the month. This season was um, very difficult because just before the beginning of the season, we lost our manager and that was a, a huge hit and he's gone on to continue that again he's moved to a, a club that's playing in a higher division and it is pushing on so that's tremendous what he's um, managed to do we started then with a, a new manager coming in unfortunately he wasn't able to continue with the role and at the last minute we were really so for um Harold coming in and really getting a squad together so in pre-season we were building the squad and the results were difficult, um, you know, we found it really hard to kind of find our feet. Players haven't played together for various different reasons, we had to keep changing the team and that reflected in the results, but, you know, really good that he built um, a team that began to compete and unfortunately, again, this season, unfortunately, he has, he's moved to a club that, again, that plays at a high level and that's on the, the really the work of the previous managers and, and Zach's just added to that. Next in our journey was the departure of our former manager Daryl West who has put an effort to help the team to the best of his abilities. But it was time for a few changes to continue the season after the postponements and other situations that have occurred. As we moved onwards, we were ready to play again, this time at Sudbury against Harrow Boys, 
in another tough battle which we scored arguably the goal of the season. But once more we did not do enough on a 4-2 defeat against our first opponents of 2022. With our confidence growing and our improvements and efforts of our results, we went back to our home ground in Kingsbury to play against AFC Hanwell and Hayes which we drew previously. With a few more goals and a final minute effort to get a last minute opportunity for a victory, we finished with an equal 2-2 result, meaning we got our second point of the season. A few more training sessions soon followed, with another week break due to the lack of teams to play. My name is Rina. I'm here to train in the football teams, and also I'm yoga trainer and yoga trainer. They have to make them try themselves because they are very, very good players. Jesus need like pushing them up. And yeah, I get them like trusting, uh, you know, confident. They may have to be more confident for themselves and make them more better and better and better. With methods of training changed and a boost of motivation, we were prepared to face our next opponent and chase for the victory. We played Brandon Kensington at home and we put another gigantic effort in which we did not back down with a 3 free score. A penalty gave us the biggest opportunity which secured our first three points and the end of our chase for victory following the misfortunes of the first half of the season. We achieved our first victory, but the season has not concluded just yet. So after our triumphant win, we are back at training and we've got six games remaining. Let's ask our, our manager, our players and anyone else of our peers why is the future holding for London Rangers? There have been improvements. There have been improvements. We got our first win against uh, Brendan Kensington, which was good. The team seems happier, um, a bit more positive. Um, having Zach as well has helped yeah, bring more positivity into the team because he's known some of the players already, so that's kind of helped. But yeah, hopefully we can end the season on a good note. We'll win at we'll another win, hopefully. I hope for each one of my team to become the best player in the world. And they got their dreams. And work hard to get their dreams. In terms of the next season, we're really hoping to get promotion. We um, really believe we've now got a solid foundation and stability. We've got a good training um, going on. And we, we expect that, you know, the last few games, we'll give it our best. We've got a, a tough game this Saturday, but we're, we're looking forward to it. And if we can really push and get promotion, that's what we're really aiming for. So that's really our aspirations for next season. So here we are at the end of the documentary. I've learned quite a lot about London Rangers throughout the last six months, like the team, the league, and all sorts of things. And I've genuinely enjoyed it. If I had a couple of things that I hope for London Rangers for the future, I guess uh, an upgrade to their football shirts, maybe go up, maybe get a couple more wins, and uh, yeah. So I'm on it, I've been your contributor for the last six months, and good luck to London Rangers, I guess. Come on, you London Rangers!